Enjoy the winter wonderland. I love when it sticks to the branches and the trees. Cuddle one for mama. A little update on my neighbor. I guess I can go finally pick up that dog crap that I left out there. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it here. Kind of gross. Kind of yum though. Oh, they're my sneakers. Hello. Ooh. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I have Miss Rini running to go outside. It is so snowy. Hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, Chicken Lee. Go. Come on. Ooh, look at all that snow, y'all. Oh my gosh. Come on. You already had breakfast. I know you had breakfast. Come on, go potty. Oh my gosh, look at all that snow. Ah, that's the most amount of snow I've seen here. Oh my God, how cold. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna need my jacket on. I might wait and grab her poop later when I have boots on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going out there right now. I'll grab it later, don't worry guys. Come on, Miss Winnie. God, y'all, it's so pretty. Little winter wonderland. I love when it sticks to the branches and the trees. Miss Winnie, get out from underneath there. So pretty. <gasps> Obsessed. So, Scott went and dropped Mr. Arlo Man off. I'm gonna make, I know you got breakfast already. Scott told me you got breakfast, so relax. Um, right, didn't you? Did you get breakfast? No? No, all right, fine. Did you, yeah. Hold on, let me call Scott. I feel like you're playing, girl. Wednesday um gonna head to the gym just do like a little like active rest day situation I'm gonna do 12 3 30 watch a show and then maybe some abs so just get a little bit of pre-workout not much all right because I need to focus on driving. Cause it's snowy out there and I haven't driven in snow in a lot of years. All right, got out of the gym. I just did 12, 3.30. Um, and watched, and watched um, Alex and Alexi and David and Annie. And then I just walked like for the rest of the time watching the shows. Really need to wash this jacket cause it has like so much that's so gross. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's really quick because um, I'm feeling like having some like pitas, hero-ish pitas. I'm gonna look at the ingredients of the hero. If not, I'll just um, get like falafel and stuff. So let's run over and do that really quick and then go do some work at home because it is a yummy, yummy snow day. I just, mm, I don't know, this brings me a lot of happiness and joy, so. Right. So Back. A little grocery shopping, Miss Minnie's. Miss Minnie, girl. I don't know where my wrinkles is. Okay. So, I um, was craving like either, I'm not even, gyro, 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 whatever. Um, bowls. And either bowls or pitas. So I got stuff to make pitas um but first seaweed because i just always pick it up because i don't go to trader joe's very often so i just pick it up whenever i go arlo this is like his <sighs> favorite snack just mango it literally is just dried mango there are other varieties we get that one grab 
some bananas for Arlo and Scott. Some whole wheat pitas. A bottle of wine for Mama. Um, some tzatziki, which is awesome from Trader Joe's. And then I looked at the great ingredients on here and it's really not that bad, honestly. At all. So, I grabbed this pack. I think it's just kind of like sliced in there. Oh, it looks really gnarly. Do you have to cook it? Oh, you do have to cook it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so anyway, let's cook it. I thought it was just like already done. A red onion, some low-fat cottage cheese, which has been my jam with some onion salt on it. So freaking good. Yeah, so good. So good. Carrots, because old you didn't have any. They didn't have like the dill pickle falafel, which I wanted, so I just got regular falafel, and I'll just make it myself. You just mix it with water and air fry it. Um, coconut milk and coconut cream for a recipe I'm making later this week. And then just some broccolini because we don't get broccolini at our Aldi. Or I haven't seen it in a while anyway. And we use all the broccoli already. So I grabbed that. So let's make a pot of coffee because I'm feeling warm coffee on this chilly little day. And then we will do a little chat update situation. Not me noticing that my coffee got all over my blinds. Like, how did that happen? I'm gonna blind myself for you guys. Okay, hello. Um, it's really coming down, and I'm so excited. But, um, so, I don't know. got my coffee, gonna chill, and I'm gonna talk to you guys, give you a little update on my neighbor and before i say all of this i'm gonna kind of give a cliff notes version of this obviously i'm not gonna include her name i can include any of that privacy and all that and i'm also gonna not include a lot of the details because it's just not my place um but i had talked to you guys about it and a couple of you were like um i'm invested in this situation and i get it because i talked about it so um Anyway, um, it happened like two Sundays ago and Scott had called, I think like two days later, he's very nosy, but he called because he had texted her and said, um, like, hey, is everything okay? Like I saw, you know, the ambulance, whatever. Just wanna make sure you're okay. If you need anything, let me know. Um, we weren't close, close by any means, but like we were, we, were, we talked, you know, we had each other, like we talked, okay? And then, um, what else was I gonna say? Like we almost asked her to like take my dog out. Like we were like enough where it was like, but she also hated Scott's TV issue. But anyway, um, so he texted her that and then nothing. And then the next day he was like, hey, just wanna let you know I put your package in my garage um, because I didn't want it to get rained on. Nothing. So um, that, I think the next day after that he like, just put a call into the police and we're like basically like, hey, I don't know if you can give us any information, but like there was some commotion going on at the neighbor's house the other day. Um, I have her package. I haven't had connection with her. I just want to make sure everything's okay. Um, whatever. Uh, didn't expect to hear anything back because the front desk lady was like, we can't tell you that information. And then like, what was it? Two nights ago, um, he got a missed call. Like it was like he didn't see it when it came through he just let it go to voicemail and it was the sheriff and they were like hey if you want to go know some more information please call me back and um i can discuss a couple things with you and so basically um in fact she she passed away um and i found out yesterday and it really put me in a hard place but um yes yeah, she she passed away and um basically that's all that they could say obviously and scott was like okay you know they, i really appreciate you telling me it's horrible um i do want to let you know that i do have a package um we did know her mom like we met her a couple times if you want to take my number and if you do talk to the mom pass it along um i would love to give it to her because i just don't want to leave it outside because the weather's crappy so we can make an arrangement or I can drop it off whenever is okay for her. Like, I don't want to, you know, I obviously know she's going through a lot. Um, just, 
you know, here it is, do with it what you will. Well, she called Scott yesterday and talked to him for like two hours, <laughs> like just um, letting her know, or letting him know everything that happened. And it just feels so like bad for her. Like um, she apparently passed away on Friday and her mom found her on Sunday because she wasn't responding to any of her text messages. Like they normally talk like a million times a day. And um, I'm not gonna go through all of her history or whatnot, but um, she did have a, a bit of a heart condition. And um, not that we know if this is related whatsoever, they're still going through the process. I think they were getting the body back um, today. But um, she just had that like, um, she had had some things go on in her life, whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna go through all that, but um, she had just gotten that new weight loss shot, that Ozempic, whatever, on Saturday. Um, so don't know if that's correlated to it at all, but she was just found in her bed. So they didn't know what happened. Like she had her phone in her hand, like nothing, no idea. So just like, she's like Scott's age. So it's just so nuts, like to think, I don't know, life is super freaking short and, um, it's yeah so we basically were like to the mom like if you need anything let us know they're going through a bunch of crap with the house because she had a will but the house was not in the will because the house she hadn't she hadn't updated her will yet and um like thankfully she willed the dog and the car and like some you know obviously that stuff but not the house and so they're dealing with like getting it back so they haven't been able to like go in or whatever and so um Basically, like I just told her, like, if you need anything, like, I'm serious, if you need help going through any of that, like, she had just lost her mom as well. So the mama lost her mom in November and then dealing with this. So I'm like, seriously, like, if you need anything, if it's too difficult, like, if you need me to, like, even, like, take out the trash, empty the fridge, like, anything, I'm here to help you. Like, I will do whatever you need. And then she also said, like, remember the Poshmark order that's in our garage right now? She was like, she ordered so much designer stuff from Poshmark and just bought a bunch of Lululemon stuff. And like, I don't know what to do. Basically, she's like, I don't want to just throw it all away or donate it or whatever. And I offered um, to help her sell the stuff on Poshmark, like on my Poshmark and just give her the money so that it can help to pay for the mortgage and stuff because they still have to pay the mortgage until everything, you know, they can't put it on the market right now. And so, um, yeah, basically like she's just got a bunch of stuff and she just doesn't want to like she was like she had a shopping addiction and she worked for Sephora, which is kind of funny. We would have been friends and like I look back at that and I'm just like I wish I would have connected with her more. I really didn't see her a ton, but I wish I would have connected with her because we probably would have been really good friends, which is in hindsight always like a, I don't know, she's shitty. But yeah, basically she was she worked for Sephora and not not now she did back in the day so that's why her mom said she always got four packages and um that's when scott connected me with her mom because her mom's like or she was basically like kelly can help you with those sort of things and um yeah so i'm gonna help her in whatever way that i can to kind of you know obviously it's not an easy process there's nothing i can do to make it easier but maybe i can just help kind of take a little bit of the load off or if she needs me to help her with anything at all i can do that because I have the flexibility to do so and I have the means of like posting stuff on Poshmark and things like that so um so yeah if you see some stuff um go up on my Poshmark know that it's going to help the proceeds of the mom um I will like you'll know because I don't buy designer things and it won't be in my size but um anyway yeah that's kind of the gist of it and I think it Scott and I just kind of like it just was shocking and it just shows you the also the importance of being close with your community um so take the time to to wave to your neighbors and say hi scott's really good at that like really good at building relationships with the neighbors i'm kind of like hi and bye like i did when i lived in california because like jose was my my man but like i always lived in apartments and i never really built like strong relationships with my neighbors but it's super important to do that like to have your back and it just it's a community so just wanted to update you guys yes in fact it was what we thought it was and we honestly had hopes towards the end that maybe it was it wasn't what we thought it was um 
but like my heart just goes out for her mom and like having to do that no one should ever have to to experience the loss of a child like no one i don't and a mother and a child within like months apart like i can't even begin to imagine like how her mom is feeling so um it seems like she had some rough couple past couple of years and um i don't know i just wish that i had taken the time to make a connection with her but um anyway that's kind of the gist of that and that um I'm probably going to be, you know, offering my help for whatever I can do because I can, like, I know how, what it was like to like clean up my mom's RV and go through those things. And like, she's still cleaning out her mom's like house. So like, she, like, where do you even start? When do you start? And all of that. And then such a young, like, I don't know, it's hard to even like wrap your brain around it. So like, like I said, I told her like she needs to water plants. She needs me to clean out the fridge so that food doesn't rot in there. She needs me to like take out the, whatever she needs. Like I can help with that or yeah, sort through and um, post her clothes and do whatever she needs to help kind of figure things out. I would, um, I would do that for her. So that's where we're at. Um, she might be by later today, but uh, now that there's a pretty yucky snowstorm um she might not come by today but anyway i don't know i think part of me was just holding on to um to that i was just reading into the situation too much but um that wasn't the case and it sucks so hold your loved ones a little tighter you don't know and um you just you really have no idea so I don't know, I'm sure the mom will tell us like more information about exactly what, what happened, but I told her if it was the like shot thing, like that's a freaking, that's a lawsuit and that is, that would be horrible. So make sure you, I, obviously I'm not correlating the two, I'm not saying that. Um, so, I don't know. Craziness. Okay, um, yeah. That's kind of what I'm going to say on that. So just all I can say about any of that is, yeah, it, it hit a little close to home yesterday and I put me in a, a little bit of a funk when I found out that information. So I went for a really long walk and just kind of tried to clear my headspace. And um, yeah, just not, not great. But love, hug your loved ones, tell them that you love them and... Um, and build community around you because it's probably one of the most important things you can do so this makes me want to throw up <laughs> i'm kidding but it's a mess i have been meaning to put this on poshmark for like an eternity and i need to really get on that but that's probably not today's issue and then i need to wash all those towels and that all needs to go downstairs and ah! all the snow is kind of melting and it's making me sad so i guess i can go finally pick up that dog crap that i left out there this <laughs> In my defense, I don't normally do that, but like I didn't have my snow boots by the door. And I always pick it up. I don't just leave it out there. That's gross. And it's our backyard, technically. So. Yeah. Miss Rankos. What you doing, sleepy potato? You ready to clean up this hallway? Yeah? You ready for it? Okay, let's do it. I just want them to get dressed with me, video. Oh my, I have no idea where all my little freaking dryer balls went. Actually, I know where one of them is. But I've been missing one more, because I have a set of four and I only have three right now, for like a while. And I'm, cons I'm convinced that Arlo has it somewhere, I don't know where. But, um... I was just filming a get dressed with me and then I filmed another video. <laughs> I've been a busy bee today. And um, I was talking about how annoying my washing machine beeper thing is. It really is that annoying. And I'm hoping to catch it so you can see how annoying it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's bad. Let's wash these towels because I've had zero towels to like clean anything with and I've had to clean so much coffee that I spilled the other day. <laughs> a mess. Um, 
so. Oh. I love that we <laughs> ended up leasing from this place because I was about to go get a shovel today for the snow. And they completely shoveled off or plowed all the driveways and they shoveled all the sidewalks. That's amazing. I love it here. That's freaking the best news ever. All right, it's four o'clock. I'm going to get dinner started and prepped. Whoa, oh my God, my thought I just lost my pre workout. Um, I'm gonna get dinner. Uh, Go in and um, like prepped out a little bit so I have less work to do later. And um, yeah, Ooh. I'm just so excited. They're such nice people. Let's make some falafel. I feel like probably my necklace, well, what are they called? Dicks or something like <laughs> Anyway, falafel well, I'm gonna make. Um, you just had water. It's got pretty clean ingredients, honestly. So traditional, I'm gonna do baked. I'm not gonna fry it, cause healthier, you know? So you take one cup of, or three, one cup of the dry mix to three fourths of a cup of water. Oh my goodness. I've got my cucumbers, mandolin, and I used my mandolin guard this time so I didn't yak off my finger. Um, so I wanted them nice and thin to go in the pita. This is how the meat looks. Pretty gross looking, <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. But I'll cook that and wait to cook that later. I'm gonna see how my tomatoes look. Oh, yeah, okay. What do you think, Miss Rainy? And then I've got my tzatziki, like I said, which is so good from Trader Joe's. I've got some hummus that I made homemade, banana peppers. These ones are so good, so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of red onion. It's gonna be yummy, fresh and yummy. All right, then let's do some lettuce. Lettuce, do some lettuce. I already have this, like, cause I brought it for the burgers that we had this weekend. It's a little rough. We'll do a little bit of this. totally make this into a bowl as well. I was thinking about it, but I was kind of just feeling like pita. Okay, and that's that. It's an easy dinner. Kind of gross. Kind of yum though. Can you see? You can't even see my head or the falafel. I am just winning today. I'm gonna bake this, and then we gotta run and grab Little this guy. It look like this. That sounded really weird, but that's all that's left for that, so. It's kinda, good deal, man. Pretty excited about this dinner. I hope that Euro meat is good. I mean, I've never heard anything about it, so I don't know, but I'll let you know. What was I gonna tell you about the other night that I tried that was terrible? That pesto chicken that I got, bleh, I hated it. Yeah, so we've got, new puzzle one. New puzzle two. Then I got some other box, I don't know what that is. Oh dang, I didn't expect them to be here that soon. I ordered some new sneakers. I literally ordered these on Saturday. Scott ordered his before mine and he didn't even show up yet. <gasps> these are so freaking cute. Okay, this is the first pair. They're the On Cloud, Cloud Ultra. 
They look really tiny. And then I also, I haven't decided which one I'm keeping. I'm not keeping both. These are the same ones that Scott has. These are the On Cloud Vista. I really like the Ultra. He has both of these. Well, he had both, <laughs> he had this pair, a different color, but he lost one of them on the move. Um, he says these aren't as comfortable as these. But I think the other ones are cuter. But anyways, these look so tiny to me for some reason. They're the same size as my other On, so hopefully they're okay. They look really cute though. All right, I'm gonna try on both of these later and see which one I like. These are so dang cute though. These are really cute. They're like a purpley gray with white. I like these. All right, we'll see. Okay.